Okay, for this video I'm just going to show you how to make some very simple movement controls um, in your project. So we'll start a new blank project and we'll just make this a little bit bigger. Uh, for this one we'll go with an iPad landscape um, project just so we've got some more space to work. So um, we'll go to our scenes, we only need one scene today so um, we'll bring this one up and we're going to need some actors first for this. So the actors that we'll have one, two, three, four. Now these are going to be our buttons for our controller. So this one is up, down, oops, left, and right. Okay, and then for the final one that we're going to have is going to be our character. Okay, so we're going to place these just roughly where we want them to go. So imagining that we're playing this with the um, with the thumb on our left hand for this, so up, down, then right, and then left just here. Okay, and we'll just place our character out here in the middle. So we're going to need um, some code now for our different things, so we'll need to uh, put those in, but before we do that, we're going to have some attributes. Now when we talked about attributes last time we said they were things that the computer was going to remember um, pieces of information so for this one um, we're going to use this one here uh, which is a boolean which is uh, true or false kind of on or off um, attributes so we'll just simply call these ones up down left and right okay and what we can instruct then uh, the different actors to do is to turn these on or off okay so we'll go back to our actors now we'll go into the up uh, button which is this one here and we're going to create a rule in here that says that when this one uh, when this one receives the event touch um, what we want it to do is to change the attribute that we just created called up to true. Okay, so it turns it on. What we want to do as well is to make sure that when it's not being touched, so we put this in the otherwise, that game up is then set to false again. So when someone removes their finger it goes back to being false. Now, what we want is, we're going to want this for all of our different up, down, left and right actors. So to do that I'm going to copy this, so I press Command and C, or I could go Edit, Copy at the top. Go into my next one, which is Down, and then we're just going to paste this in here. And then we're going to make sure that we change this one. So this one wants to be that every time Down, uh, every time it's touched Down becomes True, and the same just here as well. Okay, so we'll do that now in each of these. So we'll paste in here as well. And for this one, this is going to be when left is true, left becomes true or false. And then finally for the last one. Okay. So basically what we've now told it to do, every time each one of these is touched, it turns on one of these attributes here, and then when it's let go, it turns off again. Now that's fine, but it won't actually do anything yet. Uh, we need to tell the character how to respond when all these different things are turned on and off. So we'll go into the character instructions, and for this one, we'll then create another rule that says um, when attribute game up is true, we want him to move at a speed of 200 and then we're going to choose the direction. You'll see here there's this little circle with little points on it. That's which direction it's moving in. So at the moment you can see the little circle's on the right. So it's going to be going right. So we want it to go upwards. So as you see the numbers going up, it's just a little maths here to know that from there it's 90 degrees to be going straight up. So it's actually 90 that we want to go in a straight line upwards. So let's just test that now and see what it does. So if we press the up button, 
and see it moves. Now these other ones won't do anything yet because we've not told the character what to do. So what we're going to do again, instead of having to keep add this and add this each time, we're just going to copy and paste it. So we can simply edit, copy, edit, paste into here and we change it for the next one. So we have game down and then we want to go all the way downwards on this little circle which conveniently is 270 degrees. Oops. Okay, and we can then add in all the other ones. So if we paste again and again, so we've got two more now. So we've got game left, and left is 180 degrees straight across. And then the final one is going to be game right, and that's actually zero degrees because it's where it started from. So that should be done now. If we go back, we've got all of our different actors now for the different controls, and we've got our character who should respond to these attributes being turned on and off. So let's try that out. So we can go right, down, OK. Now obviously you could put in your own graphics for these different things. Um, what might be good as well would be to make this one, the controls here, a little bit transparent so that uh, you can see your character still through them as well. But uh, that's some very, very simple basic uh, movement controls.